Did you just take a shower? No, nah, I just dumped water on my oh, head. Okay. It's so hot, man. Vegas dry. So congrats on the victory. Are you happy with it? Uh, yeah, yeah, man. I, I was honestly, I was happy going into the fight because um, I worked my butt off in this camp and had a good time. And, you know, whenever you come away with a victory in, in this game at this level, I mean, I'm happy. All good, you know, all good. So it feels like we see, like we last saw you in uh, April, right? Yes. Eight months. <coughs> do you want to be more consistent in 2018? I mean, you're you're on a bit of a roll now. Is that is that a goal, or do you like these long breaks in between fights? Uh, yeah, I want to stay more consistent. You know, it's just everything. You know, health and personal all that stuff. You know, aside, and you know, if I'm if I'm health, healthy and I'm able to like train and, and and prepare the way I should, yeah, I want to I want to stay more active. It's uh, you know, this game is just very uh. What's the word? Consuming, or you know, like when you got a girl, like your girl takes up a big portion of your of your life. That's how this game is. It's like a wife, man. It's like when you're in it, you got to focus all on it or not be in it. You know. So as long as I'm able to do that, be married to it and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'd like to stay more active. What are some of the other things that are sort of taking you away from? Uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't like like dwelling in the past okay. and whatnot and bringing up old old shit. But uh, you know. Some some training stuff. Uh, move in, had my kid, uh, my 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 first son, me and my girl, um, getting adjusted to being a dad, and uh, honestly, it's just like my whole life I just trained and fought, and uh, like the last couple of years I kind of like had to put training aside and kind of grow up as a person. Like I said, kid and become more of a man, and I had to get rid of some people that were around me and all that, and kind of like take four steps back take eight steps forward type type of stuff so that makes sense when did you become a dad i became a dad like uh june 29th oh congrats how yeah. how, how is life as as a father and how has that changed you uh life as a father is awesome man like like at first like when my girl told me i was like three or four wait, weeks away from fighting charles Oliveira, and i came home and my girl was like I'm like, what? What's up with you? You know? <laughs> and she was just like, all weird stuff. And I was like, oh shit! Like, is everything okay? Like, somebody die or something? And she's like, I'm pregnant. And I was just like, like, well, what do you mean? And I, at, at first, I said I was like, kind of reacting. And I was like, wait, hold up. I was like, this is one of those moments in life, you know, where you got to be like, it's gonna be all right. Like, babe, yes, we're gonna get through this. But I, I was scared shitless. You know, I was scared. And uh, since, since I had Mac, my son, you know, I've kind of, I've kind of gotten like adjusted to where like I can still fight and have a son because I I honestly was never planning on having a kid until I was done fighting so if it, it, it was it was a tough adjustment for me honestly I just made I made it tougher than it had to be like I was just scared nervous you know but stronger man for it my son's a G he's uh <laughs> you know what I'm saying he's like a little boy dude he plays with swords and guns all day so it's tight so it's six I'm months good. He's he's a year year and six months. A year oh last okay. yeah last, okay, last okay, year yeah. 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 So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's it like being back at Alliance? It's awesome, awesome. Uh, you know I got Jeremy Stevens. He's fighting in a couple of weeks. He was like main training partner for me. Me and Eric were were jamming. Eric Del Fiero, all camp man, just putting in work, uh, grinding, just uh, just really, just really living it, man. And uh, the team's awesome. San Diego's awesome as always. So. Going into this fight, I really felt like best shape. Um, you know, Alliance is where I need to be, and uh, that's where I'm at now. So it's it's awesome. You mentioned there were people around you that I, I guess weren't good for you. Is this the change that you kind of needed on a personal level to be able to get back into focus for uh, everything that you do as a fighter? Well, you know, like the the people. I'm not gonna say who it was, but there were some people that, that you guys wouldn't guess, like unless I straight up told you, um, that I need to get a kind of away from me. And uh, as far as like, 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 look, I'm a fighter, you know, like, I, in my mind, if I have to, I'll, I'll train by myself and fight. Like that, that's just like as a fighter, that's what you do. But sometimes I'm so stubborn that I try doing shit on my own that like I just cut myself short. So I do really believe this is where I need to be training with, with Eric and Alliance and guys like Jeremy Stevens and stuff like that. And uh, honestly, it, it was kind of crazy how it all happened. Like it wasn't anything planned that how I got back with Alliance. Like I was at Jeremy Stevens wedding, like what was that? Two, three, three, four months ago or something. And uh, we, he was getting married dude, and, I, and we were just all, you know, getting after drinking and shit. And uh, 
and, and I haven't talked to Eric in like two years at this time, you know, and he was at the wedding and I was like, oh, you know, like I didn't say anything to him. We were drinking. We just ran into each other and uh, we we're just like, hey, you know, how was everything? Cool, cool. And uh, one thing led to another and I was just like, hey, man, like, you know, we kind of just hashed shit out, had a good talk. Um, and I and he was just like, you know, like, dude, you're more than welcome. And I was like, bro, I'm fighting uh, fucking Rick Glenn in like nine weeks or something at the time was, was the word. And I was like, you got time for me? And he was like, yeah, let, let's get it. And I flew out there like the next week and we just wow, started training and, and getting it, man. Jerry, like I said, I, I've been grinding up to this. Jeremy came out, out with me for this fight. I'm going to uh, St. Louis in a couple of weeks for him. So this is what we do. This is, this is what we do. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I mean, I can't predict the future. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know, I could get hit in a, a car or whatever. But as far as like what we got going on right now at Alliance and 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 the momentum and the work ethic that we're putting in and like and all that, like, yeah, th this is where I'd like to uh, finish my uh, my competitive career. I mean, Rick Glenn's a, a big name, a big win. Back to back, really looking really good at featherweight. Do you feel like you've earned a top ranked guy for your next one? You know, like. Okay, look at this. Uh, when I lost uh, those two fights in a row, I, I, I was messed up because I was looking at this title. Like before I fought Cerrone, I was like, I'm gonna beat Cerrone, I'm going for a title, I'm going for a title. And when I lost to Cerrone, I couldn't, I was just like, my mind couldn't comprehend shit because I was like, no, like that was supposed to be, I should be fighting for a title now and I was taking steps backwards. So like, as far as like your question, like do I deserve this or do I deserve, deserve a top ranked opponent or whatever, like, I, we'll, we'll see what UFC wants to do. You know, like I'm 29, just you know, have some patience. I'm getting better. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting stronger. And uh, if a top ranked opponent comes, if a title shot comes, whatever, man. Like I'm, I'm not gonna chase it. Like everybody wants. Of course, I want, I want, I want gold. I want the belt, right? I want the belt. I want the money. I want all that stuff, right? But I mean, everybody wants that, and I can't focus on that. That shit's gonna come as a byproduct of me training me taking fights, me, me serving the UFC, me serving the fans. Like when I serve the people in, in my, my company, that's when shit gets money and all that stuff comes back to me. It's like the cardinal rule, give and receive. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep giving, keep working hard and uh, it's all gonna come to me. That's it. When we spoke to you in April, uh, you were very, um, I guess, honest about the state of MMA and trash talking and how you didn't like the way the sport was going and evolving. How do you feel about it eight months later? The same changed your opinions? Ah, uh, you know, honestly, you might have caught me at a bad, a bad time because sometimes I get pissed off and like, <laughs> and like, honestly, like it, I, I, I respect people that, that like, you know, if you speak your mind, be, be who you are. Like, you know, if you want to be like the Diaz brothers, you know, and you want to have like that type of personality, cool. But I just feel like you don't have to kind of be fake with what you do. So that's, I guess like when you see people trying to uh, be people that they're not, I don't like that. But uh, you know, I I don't have anything against the, the, the shit talking. Like you see people that do it, and they get bigger contracts and they get stuff out of it, right? Like I can't hate on my man because you know he's leaning into the show business part and uh, and, and getting money for him and his family. Like I, I can't hate on that. Um, so. I'm, I'm cool with the trash talk. If people are going to do it, do it. It's just uh, just don't look stupid doing it because, you know, if, if you're fake, then pe people aren't dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like, people aren't dumb. People can tell, you know, who's genuine and who's not. Cool. Awesome. Thank cool. you. Guys. Thank you.